this one. We got three more. Pick wisely. <laughs> That's Thanksgiving. Pick okay, again. Okay, okay. I'm not looking. That satisfied okay. man. <laughs> okay. So in the book that I wrote, the first chapter is about marriage. You don't have to be married to like get it. I really tried to write the book for kind of everybody, but this is a this is a love song, but it's a love song about like married couples. Which I'm sorry if you're not married, but it might apply to you. I don't know. I, I wrote this. I was I was arguing with my wife one day, um, and she said to me, "You are such a dick." And she meant it, really emphatically she meant it. So I just thought, let me, this will help. I said, you think I'm a dick or you think I'm just acting like one? Which she really appreciated. Um, and she's like, I'm not sure I understand the distinction. But there's a big difference, a huge difference. If you, if you are, follow me. I'm not being crude, follow me. I'm a family guy, like a family show. If you are a dick, a dick is a terrible thing to be. That's a, that's a bully. A dick is like the guy that came up to me last night in Nashville, and, he, and me and Cookie were out. We were trying to find a hot dog late night. He goes, you guys know where Loser's Bar is? Now, I found out later there is a bar called Loser's, <laughs> which I didn't realize at the time, so I'm like, no, man, I don't know where Lou. I'm thinking, like, this guy's throwing shade at me. I'm 42. When does it end? Like, he was hammered and seemed like a jerk, you know? That's a dick. That's a dick. He goes out in the world and he just does bad things. Acting like a dick in a marriage, you have to expect that to some degree. I'm just saying it's like par for the course and it can be corrected if you just say, hey, come on, don't be, don't be this way. So she said, I guess you're just acting like one and I wrote this song as my pence. She pours a glass of good red wine. Do you mind, Susan does the same? Waiting for when the horn stares back The strangers from its frame In these familiar rooms Where they watch the years go by Somewhere along the way They both stop trying to try And in his mind he can't see you see her In that black dress he adored Girlfriends all up to And the men row his floor She erupts his daydream With a question of her own For the first time in a long time He doesn't feel like he's alone And she said Why did you never take me to Paris Or write my name in the stars why would you see that I need the most? Don't you try to take me in your arms Whistling sweet consolations As if the die weren't cast He looked surprised and said, I guess It's cause you never asked You never asked You never asked Change the past. And in her mind, she can't see you see him on his graduation day. With a beard and horn rim and glasses, and this smile that seems to say, You'll never want for anything if you stay close by me. Get a rest of daydream. He says, I know what you mean. Why do you roll your eyes at my stories and the jokes that you used to like? Why do you turn away from me when I lie down beside you at night when my confidence gets shaky? Why don't you build me up from scratch? She looked surprised and said, I guess it's because you never asked. There's nothing that we can do that could change the past. 